Hello, I'm Super Orange Cat here, and today with a quick review of the new Adult Swim show, Bird Girl. Bird Girl is the sequel of sorts to Harvey Birdman, Attorney at Law. It follows Bird Girl, or Judy Ken Staben, after the passing of her father, the CEO, Bill Ken Staben, from the original show. So, I'm going to start with covering some of the things I liked about this pilot. I like the fact that they're able to get uh, Paget Brewster, I think that's how you pronounce her name, back to reprise the role of Bird Girl from the original. And I say this because no one else from the original show is back, which makes it interesting considering they actually got quite a few of the original writers back. This episode actually was written by the creator of the show, Michael Uluin. If you follow the whole boardroom politics around Turner and Warner Media, that name should sound familiar. Because he actually is the current president of Adult Swim, who took over after Mike Lazo uh, retired a year or two ago. Which raises questions to how the show got greenlit in the first place. There is one very obvious theory right there. I'm just going to say that because... And another thing I ended up liking about this was, I thought the art style was decent. The original had the charm of using old animation cells from the old Harvey Birdman cartoons. And Bird Girl, of course, not having many or any of those to really rely on, went for a more modern, more sleek look. And they did so without really going to being simplistic. It avoided the quote-unquote Cal art style. And also, this art, this art style reminded me a bit of Archer, which I thought had a decent art style as well. So I'll give them credit there. Now to go into some of the things I didn't really like about this pilot. One thing I didn't like is the length of it. Now, I recently reviewed the two hour-long South Park specials, that being the pandemic and the vaccination special, and I had one complaint that went across the board for both of those. The fact that they clearly did not know how to write for a full hour. And for this one, the pilot was 22 minutes, and if you follow Adult Swim, you know that a 22-minute airtime is more rare than common. Like, right off the top of my head, you'll be like, well, China, Illinois Season 3, or more obviously, Rick and Morty does those length episodes. But the original Harvey Birdman was 11 episodes, 11-minute 11 episodes. And that allows you to sprint through, go through a plot, hit gags, and do so in a way that wouldn't make the gags seem boring or have to be repetitive. And there are quite a few repetitive gags in this episode, especially regarding the toilets. There was like four different gags where they would stop the episode and then dramatically have like the toilet spit out the hockey puck of fertilizer. And also the whole gag of, I think her name was Meredith the Green Girl, who's supposed to be like the, uh, I guess is like the daughter of the judge from the original show. And it's like the whole thing where she's like, oh, I can control who other bird girls, bird girl Judy. She does this like five, six different times and it gets increasingly stale the more she does it. And other things too. Another thing is, if you're expecting to see familiar faces, you will be disappointed. Like, of course, you have Phil Ken Staben, who's passed now, which is the impetus for the pilot. And also, for example, Harvey Birdman, at least he's not in this episode. Don't think we're going to see him at all in the series. Maybe I'm surprised. Maybe he shows up next week. But other the other Hanna-Barbera cartoons, gone. Probably due to some weird licensing issues that we have now. We didn't have back in 2001. Uh, other things about this. Like, for example, you had the, I forgot his name, Peter Hippopotamus, Peter Potamus, I think was his name, where it's like every time he's in the bathroom, it's like, did you get that sing I sent you? Like, he's gone, you know, and it's like I said, you're not going to see any familiar faces. And a lot of people compared this to Daria, in which Daria is a sequel, a spinoff of Beavis and Butthead, but it was a much different show from Beavis and Butthead. I'm going to disagree with that in a way, where this show is trying to mench, trying to stay in the same universe. You, you still have Seven and Seven, you still have the law firm, and it's clearly about like the goings-on of the law firm. There wasn't a courtroom scene in this episode, don't know if that will be a component of the show. It'd be pretty disappointing if it was uh, now, but other than that, other things, like, like I said, Seven and Seven... They clearly try making some references to the original. Like, compare that to Daria, where the only time Beavis and Butthead is mentioned at all in Daria is, like, one throwaway gag randomly in Season 3. Other than that, it, it found its way to become its own show because it separated itself as much as it could from Beavis and Butthead. 
or Daria went from California to, I think, Lawndale was in Virginia. And the show had its own different feel to it, you know. And meanwhile, this show, I think, tries to be Harvey Birdman at times with the type of humor it goes for. But at the same time, it feels like if you took one of those, like, girl power shows on, like, Freeform, like, Bull Type, The Fosters, or whatever, whatever, like, low-tier CW wannabe garbage you have on that network, tried being an Adult Swim show, you know. So basically, Tuca and Birdie, basically, you know, in a nutshell right there. Oh, yeah, and by the way, Adult Swim has Tuca and Birdie now, which is something everyone immediately forgets about. I think I've said it five times. I've read it five times, and I keep forgetting it. That's how forgettable show that is. But again, this is not about Tuca and Birdie. This is about Bird Girl. Overall, though, like I said, I like the animation style. And also, Bird Girl is a character I kind of like, too, to be fair. Didn't like the new supporting cast around her. None of them really seem to come off the page in the way that the background characters of Harvey Berman Attorney of Law did. So again, what do you guys think? If I had to rate this show out of 10, I would give it... It's not the worst show Adult Swim's ever had. That's a very low bar. This will never reach the low levels of something like Three Busy Debras, in my opinion. I give this a 5.5 out of 10. Some good things, but there are more things that hold it back than promote it. What do you guys think? What's your opinion on this show? If you like this, sh if you like these reviews, if you want me to keep doing Adult Swim premiere reviews like this, please like, comment, and subscribe. I'm the Super Orange Cat, and that is all.